Hello and welcome back to OmniFoot TV. For the first time in almost a year, it is good to be back behind the camera to make content, to be making more content for you guys once again. This is gonna be a daily thing again. It's gonna be something along the lines of maybe even a couple of days per week if it's not daily, at least until I get things rolling again. As you can see, I don't necessarily have the technological appliances or the capability to make the content at the level of that which I was making before. It's mainly because I've relocated and things have been a little intense lately. Uh, so I'm just gonna get into it. Shift Jessen's acquisition of Manchester United has supposedly gone through. The club's shares have risen and there isn't necessarily confirmation from the club just yet. We don't necessarily have an official statement of any kind, but word has been running rampant, moving from one news outlet to the other, all over Qatar, all over the internet overall. It's been trending recently. People have grown very comfortable with the fact that the takeover has supposedly already, you know, been completed. Pa pen has been put to paper, it's been signed. I necessarily will rather or would rather wait until we have complete confirmation on the matter before I can say, you know, before I can say my piece on it. But I just want to share my opinion on the whole ordeal and say that I think that Sheikh Jessen's acquisition of the club will do us wonders as a league. It will benefit each and every team around them. And as a Chelsea fan, I say this because United were our arch rivals for a pretty long time during the Sir Alex Mourinho era when they were both butting heads at each club, respectively. I think that United's acquisition, if actually worked out and managed with the right kind of vision, because we've seen a lot of owners with bags of cash take over multiple clubs, even in the Premier League and the Championship, and because of their lack of knowledge, because of their lack of vision, and the fact that they don't necessarily take what they're doing seriously, even if they are passionate about it or not, and I can easily use Sheikh Mansour as an example of that because he does not necessarily find himself with a passion for the sport. He doesn't attend games. He hadn't attended a game in almost 10 years prior to the Champions League final. That's because it was reported by The Athletic that he doesn't like to experience the game in its live form, which is odd. I don't think he necessarily likes football, but he's entertained by his own investment. And even though he may not enjoy the sport, he takes it seriously and he's done wonders for the club. On that, I just, you know, I can't give you much more of a comment on that. I can't say that that's good or bad. I can only say that he's done well and every other club should take what, he, take, take what he's done, study it, and follow suit. Now, with Chelsea's acquisition within the past season, Newcastle's acquisition as well by the Saudi Investment Fund, Saudi Public Investment Fund, the royal family i don't necessarily know what to refer how to refer to them as of late or at the moment but i'm just going to go with either uh and now we have united by more qatari investments who already have their toes dipped in the sport via psg in france i think that this could do each of those clubs wonders to just realize how intense the competition is going to get in the league there will be more competition. There will be more of a pull factor to the Premier League. There already is that factor, but now it's going to increase. There's going to be much more financial star power. It's going to be crazy seeing Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and Qatar duking it out financially in the best league in the world or the best marketed league in the world because certain people think that it's marketed much better than it actually is. And that alone will attract more viewership It'll provide more entertainment. It'll make sure that clubs like Chelsea, clubs who currently have been undergoing a bad spell as of late, will do will have to do their best in order to push up. City were already keeping the competition at bay, and they were doing their absolute best to just, you know, move past anything and anyone that could get in their way. And now they may have to contend with their arch rivals. And I think the best part about this rivalry currently, if that is the context within, context within which they will be competing with each other, it will be that historically, it has never been that, e it will have never been that even, in a sense, it's always been one side that's had the upper hand against the other. Maybe I can say that it was that even a little earlier into Sheikh Mansour's reign as city owner, when 
I, I would say the 2009-2010 season is the best memory I have where I felt like both clubs were neck and neck in certain senses. The derby was intense enough just to be, you know, provide a sense of fair ground for each club to stand on. Their games were very intense. They were, they were worth watching a lot more than they are now with a much less obvious gap in talent and managerial know-how and in you know the overall infrastructure now that could actually be restored in a much bigger sense because city are a much bigger club than they were 10 years ago 10 11 12 years ago however you want to put it and if united can actually find their way back into that bracket which they've already sort of started moving back in that direction it will make the manchester derby perhaps the most intense in the world if it is executed correctly and clubs like chelsea clubs like arsenal clubs like liverpool those three are going to have to up their game significantly if they're going to have to find a way to catch up to these other guys who basically have more money than the league it's going to be bedlam and that's also, again, I say it's also if it's done right. I think that Sheikh Jassim's acquisition of United, if it already has gone through, or if it's almost going to go through, whichever, it will benefit the league. It will benefit the rivalries of each club in relation to United, and it will provide a greater doorway, like a better doorway to the sport for a lot of people who may not necessarily be watching, or for United fans who may have just hung up their thinking caps, thrown away their optimism, had their passion for the club just crushed by the past couple of seasons of indifference, by their hatred for the owners, for the Glaciers, who they have disliked and eagerly expressed animosity towards for years and years. I think you've all seen the protests. So I guess I'm just going to leave you with that. I do think that this will be better for the league if it's done right. And I'm trying to be as optimistic as possible. It will probably be a squash match or, you know, for one of those clubs, one of the three clubs who are now going to be settling under Arabian Gulf money against the others. Or each club will actually have, you know, it will actually develop their own character again. They'll develop a golden era of sorts. An upward slope will begin to build, just like cities did, for both United and for Newcastle. And I expect that for Newcastle more than I do for any other club, for obvious reasons. And I look forward to seeing it happen. But I think that after we see it happen, we're all gonna want them to fall back down again because that's the nature of the sport. But I guess we'll just have to wait until then to see. And upon the confirmation of Chir Jessam's acquisition of United, I'll probably make another video on this. And as my first video back, I just want to say thank you to anyone in advance who has tuned in to watch this video. Please like and comment and let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel. And I promise you there will be more content coming within the next couple of days, months, and hopefully years. Thank you for tuning in back with OmniFoot. And I will see you next time, those of those.